Oh, it's so beautiful day. I can hear the birds singing and sun is shining. So beautiful. <laughs> Yes, before we can go outside and make some big damage, uh, I need to change the chain of the saw. So I had this, I don't know if you call it splitting chain, uh, for getting, uh, cutting the long grain. I did make the boards to the labu last time, so I need to change the change the chain and actually this time I have brand new chain maybe this would need some cleaning too so I have been using this uh, shit I can't remember the words anymore sorry I'm not English speaking <laughs> uh, I don't know this part of the so I have to change it in the right side again. I don't know if I have anything to clean this. Maybe with the finger is good. Just taking the most of the shit away from here. Yeah, it should be okay. <coughs> I don't want any shit in there. So I have to make soon the the maintenance for the, the chainsaw also, I'll be using it now pretty much one year and not any bigger maintenance. So this is Oregon chain, it is for the 16 inch, <laughs> 15 inch this one, uh, I don't know the name, so I will put it this way. What the fuck is the name? Maybe I'll remember in the end of this video. Hmm, is it actually? Oh yeah, it's twisted here. So, I'll be using, I think that it was 14 inch, this <laughs> thing before and it, was with the, it came with the saw. And uh, I changed it to the 16 inch. I had to buy the Oregon parts. It would be wise to use gloves in this point, I think. Yeah, I'm not so new with this stuff. As you know, I started using chainsaw one year ago. So it has been a long learning process for me and I basically have teach myself from the YouTube or everything I know so thank you YouTube I think I need to loosen that that guy a little bit yeah now it's in there and uh, I'm not the pro but today's program it's not just touch the chainsaw here. We will go outside, of course, and uh, we are going to fell some trees. Yeah, so. I don't need to do any sharpening so far and that's a really nice thing. Usually this thing starts with sharpening. I actually went to the lab and took my files for it but this is brand new so no need for that. I just checked the oil and gasoline and uh, I need to find a lot of stuff what I'm missing. Maybe something is still in the lab of the gasoline and the oil. So I 
have actually here in our yard three these trees I, I would need to fell. This is really beautiful. It's uh, Rowan or Mount, Mountain Ash is the English name. And it's really beautiful in the spring and when it gets the flowers and the berries. Beautiful tree, but here you can see it's leaning on the roof and it's destroying the roof. So this is a little bit challenge. I don't know how I can actually get it down. There's some stuff frozen to the ground, but now it's the perfect time to fail it because it's really good for a woodworking tree and I want to cut it down in this time of the year so it's the best time. So this is a little bit challenge. Then we have a couple of big birds back there. But it's a big risk that they are falling down to the main building so I don't know if I want to do that alone. This is also really tricky. It's leaning so much so I don't really I have to get some kind of tactic. I don't know, maybe I will fell it on you the here. Let's try something. This is nice tool, it's Vesuri, we call it in I don't know if, if it has any names in Really dull, I would need to sharpen it. chance. We'll try it again. Ah, oh, this stuff also. Ah, so much shit. Okay, I have a plan here. So I will use this wood for woodworking or tree. And uh, I want to have the uh, down part, the stump, as small as possible so I can use the then you know the thickest part of the wood. So I will cut it this tree about in this height and uh, I will try it all uh, fairly down of these the trailer and, uh, and those pellet thing is there. Uh, I don't think they are going to break. It's not so heavy. It's, it will come down slowly. And uh, anyway, that's not worth of any money. I think it's the safest place to try filling it down. So I need to first get the rope there. I will actually fetch my ladders. In there. We have like 10 15 centimeters of ice under the snow and it's really slippery. So I need to use slow movement. I don't know, this is not so safe after all. Maybe in here. If I fell down, call 
one one two. in here. It would be nice to have somebody pulling the rope. I guess I can do it. Maybe. Oh yeah, that went actually how I imagined, but after a small fight. So I think I didn't have the camera on, it didn't go when I was showing, uh, sorry for that. But there wasn't much to see. I did cut a big part of the in the front, and usually that kind of tree is rotten in the middle, so I was careful and I made it step by step. Then a small cut in the another side. And I was pulling the rope, but uh, of course the tree was felling to the wrong direction already. So I had to make fast because I didn't have the strength to pull it. I didn't want to try it too much because then I'm in the trouble. So I did go inside to our chicken house. I did fetch my PFD and my battling safety gear. So good to have this uh, training. I took one more rope. I did put webbing on the tree there. Then I took a, a pulley, some Prusix carabiners, and I made a 3 to 1 pulley device there. And uh, I pulled it, pulled it to the straight angle, and in that point I locked the rope. I went to the middle part of the long rope there. I did put rope there and used the vector pull. I get more strength there, and then I pulled one big pull and uh, tree fell actually uh, pretty much there where I wanted to. So, so far so good. Yeah, and when I'm putting the notch on, carabiners and stuff, and it's, it is getting a lot of pulling uh, force, so I use notch what I can open. Here I had the, I think it's the 8, number 8 knot. You can see it opens from this rope pretty easily, even it had a lot of strength on it. Here I have a quick one, I just pull there. If there is some troubles I can remove it pretty fast. So one, down, one tree down, I will cut it for pieces now.
can probably see all the moss on the roof and it's actually in that part where there was this tree so sorry boy your time has now filled in the living world but you will become beautiful furniture and stuff like that that maybe some kitchen uh, stuff also so you, your life will continue very much in the future also and uh, yeah this tree has pretty nice brown center it's not rotten I think it's the color it it just has there and it's really beautiful and here is the part that it cut Nice brown thing inside there. I think I will even save this one. I have some idea where to use it. But this guy looks nice. Now we have to cut the down part, the stump also, as low as possible. So much ice in here. I need to lift this guy at least it's least it's really heavy. Maybe it's good in there. So this guy. Down there. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, so this is pretty nice. I don't know what I'm going to make from this, but I will cut some more from the stump and the ice melts a little bit away. There is no hurry. I can do it after one month. So you can see behind me there is those two beautiful pine trees. They are really beautiful and they have been there so long time. I, my guess is closer to 200 years than 100 years. But they are too close to the house, so not today, but someday we have to cut them down. I wouldn't like to do that, but if they fell on the house, it will be terrible. And there behind me is two birds. They're actually really big. They look small in the wide angle lens. I'm pretty sure I could tell first uh, uh, your left one there back to the forest. And maybe that another one on the stump that way. But it's too big risk to do alone. So I, I will not do that today. I would like to do, but. I'm alone, but I have some stuff in the forest. I have to make some firewood and clean up some places there, so we can go there. So this part of the forest was a little bit like destroyed uh, 15 years ago about. My uncle owned this forest and he sold the wood from here. 
I believe he didn't cut much money, but the whole forest is like destroyed. Not much things grows here. Pine trees are coming up. It will take a lot of time. There's a lot of these bushes, so I will clean them a little bit, get more air to these pine trees, and I will slowly I will have here different kind of trees, so it will be more natural. And I have been cleaning this place now since last year, and I hope maybe after 40 years. Somebody after me has a nice forest here. But let's clean this a little bit. build a summer kitchen some some days so it can be actually here
part of that bush is there. Yeah, I know that some of you people think that I shouldn't clear them, but that part it's it's just bushes and uh, eventually in some point it would grow as a forest, but now I'm just speeding up the process. So it's like what we call the shit tree. I will clear most of them, but I will leave some of them to there. So now there is coming no new bruise, there is a pine, birch also. And here I have a, it was almost a dead birch, just a couple of branches. I did sell it last year I think. I will cut it to firewood for the lava. There is behind you is a lot of felled trees, there is old pine trees and bruise. I will leave all those in the forest to rotten. They are the most important trees in the forest when they're dying. I have also some dead trees standing up here and I will not touch them. Uh, the woodpeckers love those trees so I just leave them hanging there. But I'm pretty tired already. But this one I need to cut to firewood. I think it's okay tree, it's not rotten yet, at least much. So let's cut it. <laughs> Check my body battery. It was 97% in the morning. Now it's 55. <laughs> so my body has some battery left. Okay, we are in now in our lava now. I've been sharpened the chainsaw and Then I have some job. I need to make some firewood. Here I have uh, aspen. I did clear there the side of the lava, and they are almost two years, one and one and a half years old. So I will cut them to pieces and then I will take them as a firewood to the other side of the lava.
I fastened it even hard. That isn't the best idea to take my new chain for this job because I think this is Aspen and it usually makes the, the chain dull really fast. But I think it will be okay, I will just uh, sharpen it so it's ready for next time. But I'm pretty pleased here is like almost like half year firewood to the lava and it's only just a clearing from that uh, crop field so now the remain trees can grow much bigger there it looks nicer and I have a shitload of firewood so good job good job guys uh, I will leave this here maybe Katja can help me for uh, putting these drying under the lava roof and uh, I think I'm pretty much done I will make fire from the lava and make some coffee and then I will go inside and watch Netflix no I don't have Netflix but if I could I, I, I would go watching Netflix if I just had one I need to watch YouTube because I don't have money for Netflix but let's see you in the next video.